Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my Music Theory Tuition series where I work with you step by step through the ABRSM Discovering Music Theory grades. I'll work through every single exercise and explain everything you need to know. You can access information about the books I have available to help you on my website. Go to SharonBill.com. For advert free and longer lessons, you can become a patron at patreon.com forward slash Sharon Bill. If you can give me a like, that would be super. And please do subscribe to my channel to stay updated. You can support this channel by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash Sharon Bill. Let's turn on now to page 36 of the Grade 3 Discovering Music Theory Workbook. We move on to Exercise 7, still discussing the topic of minor scales and minor keys. And so in Exercise 7, we need to look and see which accidentals are not needed. So which accidentals are not appropriate to these minor scale pieces of music? And so before we get too bogged down, we need to at least think, well, what do we need? And so let's think about A minor is related to C major, which has no sharps or flats. However, in the melodic minor version, if it's a set, we can have the raised sixth and seventh, which would give us F sharps and G sharps. And of course, the G sharp could also be explained in the harmonic minor form. But then in the melodic minor form, descending, we'd be back to no sharps or flats. So we have a number of combinations that would be appropriate here. So we have this note, which is circled. They've given us a start. This is not needed. And this is a C natural. And so, of course, C natural is part of A minor. But there's no need for that natural sound because it's already C natural. It's not cancelling anything. It's redundant. It's not doing any job at all. Now here we have a G sharp and that could be explained as the raised seventh. So that is needed. That's acceptable. Here we have an F natural. And though, although of course we could have F natural as part of the descending melodic minor scale, there's no need for that natural sound because it's not doing anything. It's already F natural without it. There's no F sharps gone before. There's nothing in the key signature which wouldn't be appropriate anyway. It's again redundant. It's not doing anything. However, here we have an F sharp and a G sharp, which could be the raised sixth and the seventh. So they are entirely appropriate and that's what the composer is choosing to use in the proper context of A minor scale. That would be the ascending melodic minor scale. And so perhaps that gives you a clue on what to look out for. If you want to just work through this next one with me, that's fine. Do, do so until you feel comfortable to try. So F minor is related to A flat major, which is B flats, E flats, A flats, D flats. We have all of those in the key signature, so that is doing the job for us. Now in F minor, let's think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. We could have the D flat raised to a natural as the raised sixth, and we could have the E flat raised as the seventh, cancelling out the key signature. The six and seven would be the melodic minor ascending, or the seven could also be the harmonic minor scale either way. So what's going on here? So here we have a D natural, and that is entirely appropriate because that could be the raised sixth. But here, yes, that is a D natural. That would be appropriate, but we don't need the natural sign again because that accidental is still active until the end of the bar, isn't it? So we don't need to reiterate that. It's still doing the job here from this one. 
Now the raised seventh is an E natural, so that is also acceptable. So we'll circle that one straight away, we know that. Now here we have a B flat, and it is true that B flats should be correctly part of the F minor scale, but there's no need to add that because the key signature is doing that job for us. And so that's redundant because the key signature is already doing that. And then again, although the bar line cancels an accidental, it doesn't cancel a key signature. So the key signature is still doing its job there. So that accidental is out of place. Now here we have an E natural and that is entirely explainable in terms of a raised seventh. So that is appropriate that is needed in this context. And so that's that one completed. So perhaps now you can go ahead and try these remaining exercises. So go ahead and just have a go and then we can check these through together. So I'm hoping you've had a go of these. So we know that E minor is related to G major, which has a key signature of F sharps. However, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. So the F sharp will be part of the key signature and that's done for us. And then we could have the raised sixth and the raised seventh as the melodic minor or the D sharp is explained as the harmonic minor as well. That would be the ascending version of the melodic minor. And then we could have just F sharps as the descending version of the melodic minor. So we've got the ascending version and then just the descending version with the key signature. So let's see what we've got here. So we have a key signature of F sharps. So here we have an F sharp which is redundant because the key signature is doing that job. So that's not needed. Now here we have a D sharp in the treble clef, every good boy deserves, and that is entirely explainable as the raised seventh, so that's appropriate. The bar line cancels that, and so here we have the raised seventh again, so we do need that D sharp again because the bar line's cancelled it. However, here we have an F sharp, and that's already in the key signature, Bar lines don't cancel key signature, the key signature is active all the way through unless an accidental uh, overtakes that. So that's the key signature, that's redundant, we don't need that. And then here, so although this is the raised seventh and it is a D sharp which would require a, a sharp sign, an accidental, because it's in the same bar, this D sharp is still doing its job. An accidental is active until the end of the bar. The bar line will cancel it. So the bar line cancels it here and it's needed again, but here it's not needed again because it's still active from the previous D sharp, so we don't need that. Let's press on. So we know that C minor is related to E flat major, which has B flats, E flats and A flats. And then if we just think about it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And so although there would be an A flat, we could have that as a natural as the raised sixth, and we could have a B natural as the raised seventh. We could also just have B naturals as the seventh of the harmonic minor. Sixth and seventh would be the melodic minor raised. And everything present in the key signature, all of those flats, would also be appropriate in terms of the descending melodic minor scale. So let's see what we've got going on here. So here we have, we're in the bass clef, we have an A flat. And although A flat is part of the, the key that we're in here, we don't need it because the key signature is doing all of that job for us. So that's redundant because the key signature is already doing that. Now here we have an A natural and a B natural and they are entirely appropriate in the ascending melodic minor scale pattern. 
And then this again is entirely appropriate because we could then go back to the key signature for the descending scale of the melodic minor scale pattern. So we're putting those flats back in the descending version. We have here an E flat. Nothing's been cancelled of the previous there's no previous E flat that's been cancelled, there's no previous E flat at all. And the key signature tells us that we have E flats anyway, so that's redundant, it's in the key signature anyway, so that's not needed. And that's that one completed. And now we know that G minor has a key signature of B flats and E flats. And then if we count up the seventh, one, two, three, Four, oh, five, six, seven, eight. So let's go what G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And so the key signature may well be B flats and E flats, but we could raise the E flat to a natural for the sixth, and we could have an F sharp for the seventh. So we could have E flats as part of the key signature for the descending melodic minor scale or the harmonic minor or it could be raised to a natural for the melodic minor and then the F sharp is the seventh degree which is raised in both minor scale forms one way or another but if it's an F natural that is entirely appropriate in the descending version of the melodic minor scale which is the key signature only and so let's see what we've got here. So we have an E flat here, and that is appropriate to the scale, but the key signature is already doing that job, so we don't need that. That's already there in the key signature. Here we have an F sharp, and that is entirely appropriate as the raised seventh. And then finally we have this note, which is a B flat, and yes, that is appropriate to the key, but the key signature is already doing that for us. It's the key signature, so we don't need that. It's redundant. And finally, on this page, we now have the opportunity to write out the scale of C sharp, harmonic minor, ascending and descending. Now, there are a couple of ways we can do this. I'm going to do both. You can try either. We could either do it with um, a key signature or with accidentals. And we can use treble or bass clef. So uh, do bear in mind which one you're going to choose. I'm going to do both. So have a go and then let's see what we've got between us. So my first job will be, so if, you, if you're not having to go straight away, as soon as you feel like you know what's going on, then do press pause and try a little bit on your own. So first of all, I'm going to do a treble clef and a bass clef. And I'm just going to get the kind of the nuts and bolts down first just so my brain's free take it a step at a time don't try and do too much so I'm just going to get the note heads in place space line space so there's one two three four five six seven eight there's C to C and back down again in the treble clef And then I'm going to do the same again in the bass clef. All cows, there's a C, space, line, space, line, space, line, space. And we finish on middle C, that's right. Down we go. I think I've squished those and stretched these, never mind. Down we go. E, D, C. So I think in the treble clef one, I'm going to use a key signature. So, so C sharp minor is related to E major, which has F sharps, C sharps, G sharps, D sharps. And now because I've done the key signature, because it's the harmonic minor version, ascending and descending all I have to do is raise the seventh degree of the scale. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh. And then I'll do it again coming down because there aren't bar lines. I can put one there if you like. But I'm just showing both versions. So when there's a key signature, it kind of does make it a lot easier because all we're worrying about is raising the seventh. However, now I'm going to have to use accidentals. And so I'm going to have to remember 
to add F sharps, C sharps, I'm just doing the S, oh I'll do all of them actually. So there's the F sharp, C sharps, G sharps, and D sharps. It's much harder work using the accidentals, isn't it? So let's just double check that. F, C, G, D, F, C, G, D, that's right. And now I just need to raise the seventh degree of the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's the B sharp. And then coming back down again. And that's that page completed. I hope this is helpful to your studies. Please do like and subscribe to stay updated. If you'd like to support this channel, you can buy me a coffee. And for advert free lessons, you can become a patron. Do visit my website where you'll find many resources available to help you. Visit SharonBill.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.